Other than skin cancer, prostate cancer is the most common cancer in American men. With few symptoms, it's often tough to spot without a visit to a doctor. In this week's Focus on Your Health, Teresa Snow explains the importance of a simple screening test. Focus on Your Health is sponsored by MU Healthcare. Every 20 minutes, a man dies from prostate cancer. It's a serious disease, but it's also survivable, especially when diagnosed early. Gary Schultz is most at home on the water. My grandfather started me fishing on the Gasconade River when I was a kid. The retired teacher and coach spends his days as a bass fishing guide on Lake of the Ozarks, one year after a battle he never saw coming. So I felt fine. I was coaching. I'm fishing. You know, I'm, I was an active lifestyle. Nothing was bothering me. And bam, I've got it. Like Gary, one in nine American men will be diagnosed with prostate cancer. Most of them have no symptoms. For some reason, we don't want to talk about prostate cancer, and I don't know why, because it will kill you. It's why doctors recommend a PSA test for men between the ages of 55 and 69. PSA is prostate-specific antigen. We use it uh, as a screening tool for prostate cancer. It's a simple blood test that your doctor can order um, along with other routine blood work. With early detection, the prognosis for prostate cancer is very good. Surgeons at University of Missouri Healthcare removed Gary's prostate during a robotic assisted surgery. Pain is a lot less when compared to open surgery, so most patients typically stay overnight and go home the next day. For Gary, that meant returning to the lake sooner. That's what we're looking for right there. Back to catching fish thanks to a simple test. It's an easy test. It's nothing to be afraid of, and it will save your life. Joining me now is Dr. Katie Murray, a urologic oncologist at MU Healthcare. Can you tell us more about who's at risk? Who should really be concerned about being tested? I recommend that all men should be screened for prostate cancer, especially between the ages of 55 and 69. Some higher risk factors would be men of African American race or with a family history in a first degree relative of prostate cancer. Would they start with their primary care physician? Yeah, so it's important for patients to discuss this with their primary care physician um, about PSA screening. So it would start with a simple blood test with your family practitioner. If any concerns or elevation of this level would come back, then we recommend a referral to a urologist. And you are quite unique as a urologic oncologist who specializes in cancer. Yeah, so I'm fellowship trained in urologic oncology. So I focus on cancer of urology, which is a big part of prostate cancer. Um, we do have a great team here at MU Health that helps patients through these diagnoses of cancer, it's prostate cancer. We have some great technologies that help us with the treatments, advanced radiation therapies, minimally invasive surgery with da Vinci robotic techniques, um, and others. Good. Glad to know you're here and success stories like Gary's. Thank you. With Focus on Your Health, I'm Teresa Snow. Focus on Your Health has been sponsored by MU Healthcare.